I'm Kent, and this is another Weekend Adventure Rides how-to. Today I'm excited to announce that we are starting a new project, a dual sport, lightweight adventure bike. Now, we're starting with this 1994 XR250R. Plan is to gut this bike, take it all the way down to the frame, and rebuild it better than stock. Now, some of the things we're looking at with this one is, obviously we're missing the top end here. Now, this bike, the uh, motor's blown in it, it's got a bad crank, and you can see a lot of wear on the piston here. So, we're going to pull this motor, gonna rebuild that with a oversized piston. So that's gonna be bored out to, I think it'll be about a 260. Now, in addition to that, we're gonna put oversized gas tank on it. We're gonna put some bags on it uh, for storage, new handlebars, an on-road light kit. So it'll have the ability to ride on-road. That'll include blinkers, headlight, tail light. We're gonna rebuild the forks. We're gonna put uh, progressive springs in those, some new tires, uh, repaint the frame and new plastic kit for this. So follow along. I'm going to take you through each step as we go through it. And to start out, we're just going to tear this bike down. All right, let's get started on it.
All right, I've got the bike completely stripped down and I went through a few of the boxes that uh, came with the bike. And of course the, the case was still attached to the bike. The jug came in a box and then the uh, head as well as the valve cover. Um, and then kind of just looking through everything, it's obvious that it was exposed to some uh, water and air and things are a little rusty inside. So it looks like we're gonna have to replace the valves, the valve springs, and then maybe put a new, uh, this jug actually, the inside piece here, the actual cylinder, uh, that's pressed in there or uh, sweated in. So what we may do is pull that out and uh, just clean up some of the rust that's along the outside here because it's a little bit pitted. And I can just do that with uh, electrolysis. Now the camshaft, unfortunately, is gonna need to be completely replaced. It's pitted out right along those lobes that are pushing down, opening, uh, push on the valves and uh, opening those valves. So we want that to be perfect and we don't want uh, any damage to that. Now I do already have a new piston and a new crankshaft. Now I know I need a new crankshaft because if you grab a hold of this uh, connecting rod and you move the crankshaft up and down when it's in top dead center, it makes a little clunking sound and it's a little loose. So that means that bearing that's in there is no good. So new crankshaft, new, it's a complete unit. It comes with the bearings and everything, the main bearings. So we're gonna actually split this case, replace all the bearings, um, check all of our gears and the oil pump and make sure everything's gonna function correctly before we put it all back together. I really only wanna uh, put this back together one time and make sure everything's done correctly. So unfortunately, it looks like we may have to uh, tap some new holes in this cylinder head and put some helicoils in. So that'll be interesting to watch, at least for some people. And uh, it's a good way to repair this without buying a, another $200 head. So looks like we have all of our head bolts and maybe some of the valve cover bolts are gonna to need to be replaced. So I may buy a whole new bolt kit for this that's stainless. And that way we're not gonna to have to worry about what goes where and whether bolts are a little rusty or not. So we'll get rolling on that. Um, I've got parts coming in this week. So hopefully we can start taking this apart uh, this week, get some filming done and get that out to you guys. And then we can start reassembling the motor. Now everything needs to be cleaned up because it looked like there's some rats actually living in a few of these boxes. So everything kind of smells like rat poop or pee or something. So I'm gonna, as I disassemble this, I'll be cleaning it uh, with a scrub brush and uh, maybe even some soap or um, some gasoline or something like that, something to get the grease off. But that's pretty much all we have for this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, so you can follow us and keep up to date on this uh, build and as we go through it. Thanks for watching.